and recording and reporting on the daily lives of new infections, deaths and recoveries, we can too easily lose sight of the fact that we are dealing with human life. The best current estimate is that without the lockdown and the other measures that we have taken, at least, they say, 80,000 South Africans could have been by now. So far, we have been successful in the manner in which we as South Africans have dealt with this virus. And by this, I mean all of us as South Africans. In all, our field workers have now over 9 million people in our country. By answering the call to be at home, safe, you, the people of South Africa, have helped all of us to save many lives. This coronavirus is taking a heavy toll not only on the health of our people, but also on our people's ability to earn a living, to feed themselves and their families. Also benefited from the guidance from the World Health Organization. The experiences that other nations have been through in dealing with this virus have also given us invaluable insight has begun to process applications from small and medium-sized <laughs> When I last <laughs> you, I outlined the five-level alert system. Depends on <laughs> those who are infected as early as possible, tracing their contacts or those they've been in contact with, and <laughs> them so they cannot pass on the virus to others. There needs to be a fundamental shift in our thinking and our way of life. The hugging and shaking of hands and is a thing of the past. 